so um we're logging in <laughs> turning off the twitch chat joining the server voice Oh, that's pretty neat <laughs> start in this episode so uh, hello and welcome to another mine colonies let's play with the developers edition today we're um on twitch just checking out um how that is working out um this is our developer colony we are on such a new mind colonies version that is not even out on curse yet and i'm with uh, some addons today who just said hi as well okay um am i muted in discord so now you can hear me right <clears throat> some addons can you hear me i i think you should hear me so um especially the sorry <coughs> especially the build changes are finally on this version so we have the new builder code but i noticed that yesterday there was an issue acacia stone timber frames double crust so yesterday i've noticed there were some minor issues with stone and acacia i need which with how that is handled because if you upgrade to a newer version of mine colonies that could easily cause you some issues because your builder might be in an incompatible state in between updates not very likely but possibly so i did add some code today to reset that if possible which should improve that Okay, it was some of those, wasn't it? Yes. And it was stone double crust, wasn't it? I need to bring that to builder now. So. Barnaby. Here we go. No, he's fine and should start working nicely. And I can check out Jennifer. She started building. Ah, she finally started with the barracks again. No, that's not Jennifer. There's Jennifer. Okay, great. That there's not a lot of things left to place, so that should be fairly quick for Jenny to handle. Yep. So, um, this version also has. As far as I understood, a small, slightly tuned down version of the. Yeah, he's crafting. Nice. Uh, tuned down version of the pirates. So if we're unlucky enough to have a pirate raid, we're going to see how this tuned down version is going to behave. Um. Yep. 
Yes. Hi, John. How are you doing? I'm having a different name here on Twitch compared to YouTube. They were trying today out how it works out on YouTube on Twitch. From the first look, it, the latency seems a lot better, but maybe it's just me messing that up on YouTube. Just a good chance for that. So. The builder is still working on upgrading your university. Although in my test world, I placed it and the builder needed around an hour, I think, to finish the, the same upgrade with a little bit being a little bit closer. Oh, that's probably why the stream is a lot emptier at the moment here on Twitch. Everyone is watching the SpaceX launch. <laughs> Probably a bad moment for a, a Minecraft stream. Oh. Uh, those two are still going on. And yeah, it seems Barnaby is placing block by block here. So it's progressing nicely. And we can see how he's replacing those blocks bit by bit <coughs> the big advantage of the new builder code is that in the old builder code he sometimes had some longer delays between the blocks and if you would break a block in between it would kind of not accept your help really and in the new version even if you change something between the next step is already going to calculate it again and in the same sense because it only calculates it on placement this has a huge advantage because it's much less laggier so since the builder only calculates the next step always and not calculates the entire step it's potentially le much less load loads less chunks and may cause less issues Yes, I imagine. But in the new code we've uh, developed, that should be faster to handle as well. I heard that the Dark Oak University is pretty enormous as well, though. Iron bars being delivered. So yeah, she's making... Uh, he, Barnaby, is making some great progress, I guess. So... Yeah, compost barrels are not very optimized for player usage. I also noticed the same thing. The compost barrels look fairly nice and work very well when a worker uses them, but for a player it's fairly difficult. To handle that. Okay, great. So we're slowly filling up our guard spots here again. <laughs> Just tired of worker. How many do we have left? Three? Uh, I think we have like a few guards. Although the two guards here in the combat academy are both level nine guards, so we should Probably when they reach level 10, we might reassign them to a normal guard job. Oh, nice. Having the dire inside a hill might be a quite an advantage. Um. Uh, 
Um, I've also found that there were some quirkiness with rails pathing. This here is kind of ugly. Don't want to improve that here quickly. So I found that rails pathing sometimes was a little bit quirky in that if the citizen started and ended a path on the rail, it would kind of not switch correctly again. So like if there is a waypoint on the rail, citizens would then jump off the rail and stay off the rail. This is kind of not the general idea of the rail system. So I did um, improve that so that they now kind of detect that the next path is again going to be on the rail. And thus handles it a lot better. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. With that I can live. Um, let me dump the stuff in the warehouse here quickly. So. Um, here. What? We don't want this stuff here. I was dropping off the stuff I don't really need right now. Okay. Um, and now it's time to get some sleep. I think this version does not have the code yet to tell us when all citizens slept. Although that is ready already, so quite sure in the next version that one is going to be in. So. Yeah, if you turn on the redstone rails, the citizens work fine with them. But if you have turned off redstone rails, it kind of breaks them and completely confuses the AI. That's why uh, we added a lever here to the delivery man so that is handled. So. Ah, the builder needed something. I'm completely distracted again, as always. Um, we have, like, we're, like I said in the beginning of the stream, red acacia clay shingle. Red clay. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the stream, we are currently playing with a slightly altered version of the pirates that is going to be released pretty soon, which makes them, tunes them, or tones them uh, far bit down. Red clay acacia shingle. Red clay. Uh, all of them are red. Ah, no, I have to put red dye on the clay shingle. Okay. Yes. We've also noticed that the pirates were way overpowered. Like I am, I like a challenge and I like PVE and PVP in Minecraft, but the pirates were having me sweat every time they spawned. So like, no, 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 this is too much. This is too much. Oh, it's fine. It's like this meme with a dog sitting in a room. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Red clay acacia shingles. I think we have some shingles here in the room as well. I'm pretty sh shingles. Nope. But we have clay here somewhere. Yes. So 
an easy way to just avoid the the pirates is just to not put your colony too close to water that's usually a very easy way to avoid that ah clay and concrete is here ah perfect brick and then we need clay red clay acacia shingles wasn't it yeah okay so I need and light gray acacia shingles huh you also need a light gray acacia shingles light gray acacia shingles yep. as well okay so I'm going to make all of those so yeah I do like um, bases next to the water I think probably the best way to place your base is next to water because it's a huge very easy way to make to find your base in the future since like especially if you're more vanilla like and you don't play a lot with uh, waypoints etc it can get fairly difficult to find your base but if you're next to an ocean it's much easier to like just walk alongside the shore and eventually you're going to arrive at your destination and as you can see it has the new recipe for dying blocks so light gray you said right how many i'm going to i'm going there don't worry so so yes we're, we're getting there the, the new update should tone down the pirates decently enough already but we got f some further updates to make them even more endurable okay 57 light gray acacia shingles and 20 more normal okay those are 24 and light gray 60 I need to get some light gray and uh, we need two of those like light gray okay and 57 so we don't have enough in general at the moment I have to Uh, rose bushes are even easier but since we got the new recipe it's also no problem at all like at the beginning it was like fairly difficult with one uh, die per shingle but now with the eight shingles per die it's no problem at all anymore it works perfectly fine need some more of those shingles though I made them a little bit exaggerated so Oh, I don't have enough clay with me anymore. So I'm going there, getting some more clay. See? I'm opening and closing the gates. <laughs> Just because I was too... Um, lazy for parkour right now. So, clay. Here we go. Uh, here there and there I oh, know the other way around isn't it yes okay um 57 it was so that's 16 so we need another one scanned 64 that's definitely enough and we need a bunch of these as well but I don't remember how many, so I'm going to take all of them with me. I'm going to put them there quickly. So. But yes, since I've tested several hours, like while doing my university work, having the things run on the side, I saw that it was working fairly neatly, the building with the new system. So I'm very satisfied with it. 30 it was, right? Here, 32. 
there you go red clay and that's basically it that should be fine and I gotta steal some more food that he cook now what was it was Gwen wasn't it our new cook that is a name and difficult to remember isn't it Gwen yes So, yeah, some baked potatoes. I want some more baked potatoes. There we go. Give me those baked potatoes. My favorite Minecraft food. Must be German, right? So. Only the carpet and the strip logs is missing yet. No. <laughs> Promise. But it, I'm really a bigger fan of baked potato over french fries, finally. I'm gonna check out how Chenny's doing now. She must be fairly close to finishing the. I think she maybe is stuck because of all the uh, shaker boxes. She... How's the work going? Yes, yeah, she is requesting shaker boxes. Right and there are only seemingly three of them in the. Yeah, she somehow lost one, I think, or already built it. Not sure. What? You think I'm not strong enough? What? Yeah, it's saying it needs four, and she's requesting th three. You think I'm not strong enough? Watch me. Yeah, that sounds good as well. Baked potato with sour cream is quite nice. Still doesn't. Okay, she drops the shulker boxes I give her. <laughs> Is there anything like NBT likey at shulker boxes? Yes, they store um, all the items in NBT. No, but I mean like anything that could be in the scan wrongly. I'm wondering. Not sure. Trying to go to the bad. What are the other shulker boxes you usually placed fine, so that's fairly weird how she's behaving. Let's check if where is the other shulker box? There are two here. And the other one is lost already as well. <coughs> How's the work going? I only can find two white shulker boxes in her hut. <laughs> what two? It was she yes, earlier. <laughs> and I gave her four, four initially. Yes. Wait. <laughs> maybe we can now reproduce uh, the item lost back. <laughs> oh nice Matthias yeah we wanted uh, I said it uh, in the last stream already that we wanted to check out um, how it is streaming on Twitch so now we wanted to check how much engagement etc we're getting and if it's comparable we might use Twitch but up to now the engagement seems significantly less than what we get on average on YouTube um, like usually we're around 10 players around that time 
so. I go faster than any man. Yeah, there is the SpaceX launch today, so that is, that is definitely a factor. I think it's difficult to compete with a a launch of a rocket with real life people in it. Especially because there's so much conspiracy theory going on around that, that <laughs> I think a lot of people are ex paying extra attention to it. Where did Jenny go? To the restaurant? No, she's inside here. Yes. You don't want to take the shulker boxes, I guess. You only need a hammer and some stones, and ready is the new house. Yeah, it's a, especially since people are used to us streaming on YouTube, so we might have it like not as only a one episode experiment, but maybe have like a two or three episode experiment. So that we can uh, have a real comparison of that. So she plays two shulker boxes just fine. So that seemed to have work with them in the inventory. And now she's Whoa, requesting. Fantastic. What can help you with she that? picked, no, she found the other one and picked it yes, up. My lord. Yes, my lord. And two here, okay. You say so. And I'm going to give her those two shocker boxes. And we're going to say if she's going to play something as well. That would be awesome if we actually recovered shocker boxes now. You only need a hammer and some stones, and ready is the new house. Oh, we, rec rec re we actually recovered the shocker boxes and medons. <laughs> I don't know how. But we did. Yeah. She somehow found them in her inventory in the building. Is there some hidden rack somewhere? I'm strongly wondering about that. In the sandstone building. Is there some hidden place where the resources are at? Because it's working fine now. Now she is continuing the build side, that's perfect. Um, space colonies should actually be fairly decently possible. It's because you can just... Our citizens don't care much about al oxygen, so... Unless they're underwater, then they care, but... As far as I heard, in space they do not care a lot about it. So you can just use the space dimension and build a colony there. Maybe get yourself a custom style. If you say so. A pickaxe. Um, got a bunch of stuff around my inventory going on again. So I'm going to drop that off in the warehouse. Yeah, with the red beds, they're relatively bad. However, with the shocker boxes, I believe that that shocker box. That because we gave her four shocker boxes yesterday and then later yesterday I only saw her with three left in the chest and now she placed all four so I'm expecting that those were somewhere hidden into another container in her building potentially in the in the furnaces that uh, I could imagine that from happening so um I want to get some iron from the warehouse. Do we have ingots? 33, that's fine. Just have to find them now. Here, perfect. Um, and sticks I have. And I want a bit more, a bit more cobblestone with me too. So, cobble, here it is, great, two stacks, can now make some tools for the miner. Hi Irish chef, 
you're the third saying that you're appreciating is on, on, on Twitch, so <laughs> I'm, I'm slight, I'm slowly changing my opinion. For now, there are much less people watching, but since everyone is happy that we're streaming on Twitch, it might be actually be the better idea to do that. So, four. Do you need my services today? I do need your services today, Barbara. Um, no. Minecraft vanilla barrels do not count as storage. And it's because they don't, they're not chests. And we only use vanilla chests as storage. However, I do, I did tell Luna. And I think that's something we're probably going to have for 116 is that we are not going to accept chests as storage anymore because then we can um, make the inventory access more efficient and sort out a few of bugs we have with chests and then make only wrecks um, the right thing, only the, the right storage. Um, you do not have to teach the Fletcher, how to make string from wool. This Fletcher should know that automatically. It's when you place down a Fletcher and teach him any him any recipe, he will also have the string recipe. Let's see if it even, I should even list it here. Yeah, like it's an inherent recipe the worker has. You teach him any recipe and he's going to accept the string recipe as well. I want to check on Chenny again how she's doing with the barracks here. But yeah, you don't have to teach the Fletcher that recipe, no. Gonna put a roof over my head. A sticky piston, okay. I'm not sure if we have pistons inside here in the warehouse. Any piston at all? Pist, no. I'm going to make some. Maybe we have some in the base as well. I think we do in another redstone chest. Yeah, if you replace the barrels with the mine colonies barrels, that is actually helpful because it makes the schematics smaller. Now we only have sticky pistons here in the restaurant okay. chest. Ah, but I need a sticky piston. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I was like I need a normal piston to grow to craft a sticky piston no there was a sticky piston completely forgot about that <laughs> what a fail yes if you replace that with these my colonies barrels those are actually more efficient to place and cause less lag because barrels kinda cause lag because they're tile entities and we all know that vanilla is amazing in coding entities and tile entities so that they cause the maximum lag you can imagine. From the southwest, I kinda have to hope those are the desert raiders. Need to check out. But I, I'm hoping those are the desert raiders. Oh yeah, that would be, would be nice. To see them the first time alive. Yeah, we didn't have them yet. So. Yep, mummies, mummies attacking me with arrows. Ouch, ouch. 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 The pharaoh should shot fire arrows at me. Ouch again. I have to sleep quickly. <laughs> so that I can see something, but yes.
Ouch. Our miner was killed? Yeah, from lava. From lava? Ah, okay. Okay, that is fairly annoying. Some already made it. Oh. I don't hope so. I'm, I can see them scattered around the wall. Yeah, it's out. Oh wow, the the fire arrows they hit badly. So, in, on the weekend I'm also going to be able to finally code the, the music because we got the finished raider music for the desert raid so that will be fairly awesome. There's going to be one sound that's going to play kind of when the raid is starting to be over and there's going to be one sound that's going to be to play when the sound when the raid is going on, so you're going to always have like some hostile music while the raid is playing. And by the way, the the fire that is placed is removing blocks. Some add-ons. Okay. It's being placed underground. I can confirm that. That rave players were right about that. So, did this update already increase the health of the pharaoh? Uh, yeah. So that was fairly weak. I think we can increase it further. Okay. I think uh, I already set it to 2.5 times higher. It's because they do, it's because they don't have any armor, right? Yeah. They also were because of the water super confused about climbing the wall, so that <laughs> this yeah. protection here is seeming uh, to work fairly uh, nice. Wait, I I can use some improvements to better break in. And the pirates were always fairly nice in finding the area here to climb up but the desert raiders were this time at least this time not as smart luckily but it's the same ai <laughs> it's the same ai yes that's exactly the funny thing about this So they were everything r ready and then they were like, nah, the weather is not good enough for a launch today. Instead of just, they should fairly know the weather before already, shouldn't they? Yeah, kind of. This seems, for me this seems like we are having technical difficulties, but we're going to say it's the weather so that people don't think that we're incompetent. There's fish to catch today. Doesn't it seem this way? Not impossible. Okay, they were already at 30-40% chance of launch. I still uh, think there is a <laughs> always a good chance for that as well though. Let me check if the other two guards here are still as assigned to the guard towers. I bet they aren't. No, none. This island here is not protected anymore. Let me see. Ah, now everyone is mourning, so there is not going to much on although it seems Amy is on the way back to work already they kind of randomly 
st stop the morning, right? So Amy didn't like our minor all too much. Amy and Barbara were not very good friends. <laughs> Amy was like glad that one is gone. Was always bothering me at home. Always trying to gossip about Barnaby, even though everyone knows that Barnaby is the best builder. No, there is no mine colonies coming yet to end morning. Not as far as I know. No, no comment. Oh, an idea I just had. Um, if the tavern had, like, if there's a, especially when morning, if there's a tavern, citizens could also, uh, let's say, with a high chance, go to the tavern. Not all citizens, but some, right? Yeah. And if there's alcohol at the tavern, they're going to be r done with morning quicker. That one is more realistic. I wanted alcohol to have guards to recover, to s start working quicker again, but kind of being drunk, I think they would stay longer, that's true. But morning, I think alcohol helps with morning. I think that is true. I don't think so. Alcohol actually makes the depression worse. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, can't be. Yes, that's why you actually should be doing in the bad mood, but yeah. I think when people get drunk after someone dies, they seem happier afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so our researchers unravel the mystery of bone meal, so we got one research done. We're going to check out what to research now. <laughs> Combat research, better guards. Yeah, it did have one guard research already that is finished. We can check what is next on the list. Um, we have technology. So bone meal here was better for the farmer. And we got the plantation running still. Um, recipes, no. Sifter, not really. Um... Glass blower? <laughs> nah. Um, so combat, what do we have here? We can increase our armor durability, but for that we need 64 leather. That's just so difficult to get. Um, we can have ah, for eight emeralds we can reduce the fleeing damage by 20 percent hmm. or do we want to reduce the flee and increase the fleeing speed i think the fleeing dam damage reduction is nicer is it or what do you think mm, not sure. there's okay. also using more speed they don't they get hit less yeah so Uh, happiness is like our citizens are pretty happy. I think we don't need happiness research. Um, we could, could also do as uh, a ten percent armor boost. Um, I combat armor boost. Ah yes, a uh, thirty-two iron. I think I think yes. That sounds like a good idea. Probably, armor boost is always good. <laughs> Oh, the, the builder is actually getting stuff done now. Barnaby Barnaby is getting faster, I have the feeling. Yeah, but... Yeah, the new code is seeming to help. <laughs> so... Though I had to add the resetting task to it. Because the task list changed, the stage list changed. So that would cause some weird issues. So. Not really, but okay. Oh no, the, the, the structure stages 
changed slightly. I added and removed some things and changed the order. So if I wouldn't reset the progress position, some kind of weird things would happen. Yeah. I can help you with that. Sticky piston. I gave you a sticky piston. You ate it for breakfast. You ate it for breakfast, didn't you? Okay. Piston. Do I have redstone with me? Of course I don't. So I'm going to get the redstone here in the warehouse. I know there's a lot of that here. Somewhere. Um, was that? No. No. Where are you, redstone? So... Can... Ah, here it is. Okay, I'm going to take him down a redstone stack so I don't have to search the next time again. So, um... No, it was... Wait. I'm confusing the recipe now. It's here on the top, right? Then here on the sides is stone. And then the other way around. Perfect. I got it. And do we have slime in the warehouse? Slime? No. That we got at base. I hope. So... Um, do I have it in valuables? Yeah, here we got it. One, two, three. I'm going to bring all of those to Chenny. Our second best builder. We do have a slime chunk in our mine down there. But there's almost always a slime down there when we go. So slime fortunately we were fairly lucky fairly early in the game so inventory i'm having some lag okay here chenny you go here you go sandstone but that she should get from the warehouse but yeah, I'm super hyped for having the sound effects for the Desert Raiders because it does sound super amazing. I actually have it right here. Yeah, here. Here. You can hear it on the stream now. Take in this desert radio music. <laughs> I'm super hyped for it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 the music is not only fitting for the sand colony, but it's also an absolutely epic music for the sand raiders. It's like you really know something is going on and it's not good. <laughs> the sound artists really outdone themselves. And it's a custom music made for mine colonies. So that's also nice. So we don't even have any royalties or anything to pay on that. Or worry about. Oh, I'm playing that separately at the moment. Um. We also have currently someone working on the pirate music and someone working on music for the barbarian raids as well. So that is planned to have a separate music for all the raiders. But yes, I absolutely love it as well. I think it's super fitting for the raid. Oh, 
<laughs> a lot of thunder when there's no raid. That seems like a bug of the ambient sound music mod. But yes, Minecraft is a li like I really like the Minecraft music, but it's like really rare. Barely anything happens. Only here and there, there's some um, environmental music in Minecraft, and I think there could be some more sound options to it. Would also be great for streamers. Ah, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat though. I love this kind of thing. Those are like the little mods that make the game more, much more immersive. Right away. So Cook is here doing fine. So I can do another checkup on Chenny and Barnaby. Yeah, these mods are often client side, which makes it very easy to use them as well. Yes. So. You only need a hammer and some stones, and ready is the new house. Yes, I'm on the newest Mine Colonies Immersive, if you mean that. But this here is uh, not the, the Mine Colonies the Tech Colonies pack. We are actually on another mod pack. We are on the... Oh, here is a piston. Ah, I get the problem. It's when the pistons are extended the builder doesn't really kind of recognize it you know and that causes problems let's say it like this yes you uh... although that is fairly difficult i have to say that's something the builder never recognized yeah. so So those are fixed, and those are also messed up. So, cut sandstone here. There you go. Okay, those here are fixed. Now she's picking up all the things here and fixing the roof so we're almost ready we're almost ready now those doors were closed all the time uh, open all the time so they're not with a problem neither are these here it seems yeah those are fine as well so i recovered the three sticking pistons that went missing I build faster than any man. Oh, nice. Yeah, finding the shulker box. Yeah, the shulker boxes are all here in the in the building as well. They're all placed. So, and she's she's finishing up. She's now placing the floating carpet. So that is almost. I get better. <laughs> you want the spot that has the ch jungle, sand, and ocean closed to get all the new raid types? That is quite <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> well, I, I have been thinking about making some doomsday event where you get everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, ah, nice. You also place these floating carpets here now. Finishing up those floating carpets for these walkways and then she's basically finished with the barracks and we can upgrade those towers here as well Sand
those are gonna not used spaces so yeah it's, I think the most difficult thing is to find a nice spot for a colony we we're really lucky with the server which has had a random totally random spawn and we're like actually that is quite a nice spot for a colony <laughs> and decided to build here but we know that usually it's quite it's quite difficult yes those floating carpets I think make a lot of things Whoa. much easier for you builders <laughs> especially since they don't need all this string attached to them so that makes it also much easier to set it up and it doesn't break because of stupid reasons so and I'm waiting for Jennifer to start the next build I believe oh the they are black because I finished I fixed that <laughs> that unfortunately you didn't see it but let me check if I'm able to out if I'm able to run to the university and check when it's ready because the fireworks in this version we are playing here right now should be finished should be fixed already in the past version the fireworks were all black because um who died uh range uh, archer uh were black because there was like instead of using get firework color we used get id and that is then one or zero to fifteen and the hexa color of anything between zero and a while is different tones of black <laughs> and that's why they're black so that is fixed in that version we're playing right on as well okay uh, our builder is funny he's stuck in buildings but isn't building anything anymore Jenny? yes can you see it in the, in the chat? Yes, she is. Oh, no, she changed to idle. And she's now at idle because she is now going to sleep. Ah, no, no. Um, Jenny? Oh, building step. He's back to building oh, step. <laughs> uh, let's wait a little bit because sometimes she might still be doing some cleanup but yes we have to monitor that definitely yeah since that's new since that's the new code although very confusing here John what are these stairs for I'm, I'm just confused because I always want to run up these stairs to enter and I run down here and ah, there's a gate I never seen this gate but and never got these stairs here in that building style so go back to wow this night we got some nasty archer skeletons in our colony it seems uh, no uh, it's a podium it's a uh, old bug where they try to go back to the hut but can't. <laughs> that sounds unfortunate Our builder basically kills them. But yeah, that's something we are. I was doing some checkup of the guards, and the guards are actually very strong. The problem is that sometimes they they're like, "Oh, I want to get get, get go back home," or "I want to eat now," and then they're being attacked, and they're like, "No, I don't care if I'm being attacked and going to die. I'm going to finish eating, and then I'm going home." <laughs> And if I'm dying on the way, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then they kind of insist into different directions, which is also kind of weird. So that's something we have to debug and check. What's the problem with that? Oh, nice, Sybil. You killed him.
But why is there no door? It's like, am I going to leave the town hall, walk around it, and then talk to the people? Or am I going to leave the town hall through a door and would talk to the people? Oh, I s Ouch. Oh, I saw a nice video today about the one si upcoming 116 update and all the decorational blocks it adds. And that was like, wow, I think our builders are going to love it for the building styles because it adds a lot of variety of new colors. Um, and it's going to add also chains, which seem to be like super versatile for a lot of things. And besides that, it adds invisible item frames. So that's why we have to kind of uh, fix the NBT equality thing. Mm -hmm. Because invisible item frames kind of allow you to place items into the world. Like you could place a sword on an anvil, which is like okay. super decorational, right? Yeah, it's quite neat. And you don't see the item frame around it because the item frame is invisible. So in 116, we're going to fix that. She still work at that work task. Yeah, I don't I don't know too. Yes, she is switching between building You'll step and need a item. hammer and some stones and ready is the new house. I kind of feel like she let me check in the warehouse. But the work order should be gone. Uh I think I know. Something messed up the the pickup task. There's, they're supposed to run a pickup task after finishing the building yeah. and that one didn't run. And that's and that one cleans up the structure. <laughs> right? Mm, that doesn't happen now. And that didn't happen now. See, good that we are testing it. Although it, it worked fine for me in my test, like I also found this bug and I thought to have fixed it, but maybe if something kind of intervenes in that, like something comes in between wanting to do that, like eating, right? Mm. And, and then they get reset to idle and never go into pickup. That should yes. be possible, right. yes, and that will cause issues, yes. So I've got to fire and rehire her. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yeah, fire and rehire, that's the go to. But I'm going to look into if she goes into the build task because it's not cleaned up, she has to go again in the pickup task, obviously. I'm going to have to add that to the code. I'm going to write that in my to-do list. So, add it to the list. But the uh, work order and building is finished. Yeah, the work order got cleaned up because that is done in complete building. And then it's because the, how do I say it? The pickup task needs the blueprint, right? To know the size of the building. Yeah. So the blue blueprint does not get reset. And ah. since the worker thinks it has a blueprint, it thinks it has to build, even though it should pick up. Yeah. Um, my colony's barrels, I don't think they're going to be used for, for storage, no. Maybe for 
fluid storage, like to store alcohol fluid or something like that inside. That one might be possible. I'm just going to listen to the right music another time. Just fits so well. <laughs> Oh, it reminded me so much of the Benju Kazooie desert music because of the da -da 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 -da. so let me check how Barnaby is doing with the university because he was at 84% a moment ago so we can check out the fireworks when he gets really ready 94% we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, close. Got a new child because we assigned the guard. Yeah, it's very close. We can see this new tower here in the building. Actually, really do want to see how it looks like from the inside this is department of military studies okay the remaining letters were not placed yet to the higher levels so I will have to be patient for that yes if you run a tech colony server you can just update mine colonies and structurize to the newest version even if tech colonies the mod pack did not update yet just the other players on your server will always also have to update that's one thing but that should not be a blocking issue for you hi Mizen. Although in the next the next updates are going to need a structurized update too. So do not forget to do that because else mine colonies won't load. What do you I need, Jenny? Hopper. We have no iron. Oh I have thirty six iron inventory. Oh nice. We have some. <laughs> And we have no miner at the moment either, so that's the yeah. next worker we have to assign to the miner. Oh, what happened here? That was for sure me. Ah, uh, here. Some acacia locks. I'm going to dump the residues I have here again in the hut. That's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a chest. I need some iron. And ready is the hopper. So. I love the smell of fresh timber. Uh, yes. I get <laughs> kind of worried to lose the moment. Barnaby is finishing the university, getting nervous, 94%. Sometimes the last percent needs like days and sometimes it's like within a minute ready. Yeah. I still at 94%. Needing a bunch of letters. Ouch. But now he put everything almost in his inventory for the next step, which is the non-solid blocks. So he will be very fast. Yes, Hopper should be the mechanic as well. Yes, that's correct. Need to sleep. So. Mm -hmm. 
tell me Barnaby where are you going to the build site I'm going to follow you I want you to f I want to see this university finished you're working for that for weeks in-game weeks yeah, at least I got a lot of work orders waiting for him you got a lot of things to do besides the university building Wow, a tree grew just in front of me while I'm running and I just went head into the tree. <laughs> a droid factory for Star Wars might uh, definitely sounds like a nice idea, yes. Are he's blazing torches? So I think we're getting there, we're definitely getting there. But this one is no open space, it seems. That's neat. So that's not anymore. I just can run down here. I don't have to run around anymore or do a parkour. But I think he forgot some things back at his hut. Because he walked back. He is walking back. So I can sprint there. <laughs> Although making the mechanic one of these um, wandering, I completely forgot the name of those, those Tatooine inhabitants that walk around and say, ah, ah, ah. And are trading the the spare parts, etc. That might be a halfway decent design idea as well for the um, space wars mechanic. Would probably fit more in the desert setting of the general style. So Barnaby is coming in again. The tension is rising. It's barely possible to hold myself. Finishing this enormous build. Though with a new version, he probably would have finished it a while ago already. Ouch. He, hit my finger again. he hit his finger, poor guy. Javas, exactly those. Those would be probably a fairly nice design as well for the Desert Raiders. So we're still on the lower levels, as he would have placed some letters here, so we still can have some patience before he finishes. Yeah, then you probably. The Shavas won't be the perfect design. Although if every any time someone would make a texture pack for a Star Wars style as well for the workers, that would probably be a good uh, design for the workers. Um, sprinting back. Too nervous. It can't be possible that he's going to finish the university without me. Guess there he's coming in again, isn't he? No? Or is he already there? Unsure. So we got the library worker studying. Ah, there he's coming. Barnaby, it's your big day. You're going to finish this building. Yes, your best work. This is by now your best work, I would say. That we can agree on that. Ouch. 
so. The torches are slowly reducing. He's taking in some blocks. He's replacing with... Oops, with there. And he and off he went again. And still. So he's still on lower Y levels. Um Carlsenor, the guy who also made the medieval hut style, is currently working on a medieval texture pack as well for the citizens. And when he's finished with that, I said I'm going to do the code and include the medieval citizens. So then when you have a medieval colony, the medieval citizen um, textures are going to be used as well. But of course, after he finishes it, I will have to check if it's complete. And if it's complete, I can do that then as well. And then basically anyone could supply specific texture styles for the mod and different housing styles could then be used so it definitely would try to get someone to make an asians themed style etc and a nordic based style would probably be nice as well where everyone has much warmer clothing <laughs> Yeah, I did see the front gate signs in the university, definitely. I saw that on level zero university already. So I'm going to give you some food. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> if they ever come to 115 and use the Ikeja style, which you're probably going to insist on when they play on 115, then they're definitely going to enjoy it a lot. That one I'm sure about. Oh, the jungle style also has one, so the chances are increasing that they're going to notice it. We're still replacing non-solid blocks in lower levels than this. So we still have some time while the tension is continuously rising. Not exaggerating at all. Okay, this is a nice barn area up here. Neat. And he's off to request something. More rails. So I guess there were rails in this building here. And I believe some of them probably broke. So this is the redstone lab. Here are a bunch of rails. Let me check the other lab. So here's an other lab. Those actually look pretty amazing. And those labs here. A running lab assistant outranks a professor. <laughs> so. So I'm going to get some rails for our worker then. So. <laughs> one, two. There we got them. No one saw where I stole those <laughs> two rails quickly. Men gotta do what men gotta do. So. Also needs acacia signs potentially. I'm going to make those already too. To spare him another trip back. Here you go. Now he got the signs he needs. And a powered rail. I'm going to steal that too. 
as some things might break during the build that is fairly possible always like a worker places down another raid the worker places down a rail and another uh, block under an existing rail breaks and then the list changes that is possible that might not even be a bug that's something that can be expected to happen because we can't always 100% expect anything to work perfectly run I'm going to run to kill those raiders it was south west again oh great someone left the doors open some add-ons I never do that completely completely open Oh no, it was it this time it's a barbarian raid. Oh yeah. They it was probably too close to the um river. So it was not a desert raid, but a river raid. Ouch, that jump hurt a little bit. Collect some of those books here. Ah, some of these sneaky ones went around the corner. Did they? No, they didn't. Just look like it. They're all there with some add-ons. Underground mode sometimes weird me out. Because on the map it looks like there's something red. Can I trigger this to big symbols um, mob display large icons no wrong map options mini map preset 2 maybe mob display large icons yeah that worked okay great one raider left. Oh wow. Did you see the what happened after the upgrade of the barracks? Uh, I think our walls are gone. Yes. <laughs> I also think that. Oh wow, we were lucky that they w w didn't get into the colony. That would have been super yeah, deadly. It's one block higher than the water surface. Yes, exactly. That would have been super deadly. Yeah, it's a could have just walked straight in. Just, just straight in. I mean, you even made sure that the doors were all open too, so there was basically everything set in place for that. And we got no guards covered there as well. Yeah, it's like everything perfectly laid out for that situation. Okay. Um, I want some sandstone. Give me some. Here's sand. Sand is fine. I can make sandstone from that. So, just going to check up on the builder first. Next barbarian raid is not going to be so soon. So, should be fine. Um. You only need a hammer and some stone. Ready as you can come. 
Okay, they're all... They seem to be sleeping yet. So there's uh, some raider left somewhere. Oh yeah, we just didn't have one. I completely forgot. <laughs> Chat even said so. Okay. I'm not sure where though. Um... Stairs? I'm going to at least close this wall here. I think some gold. Okay. Closed here. And I want to fucking mine this here. My way up. It's easier. The lazy way. Closing here too. Okay. So at least it's closed again now, yeah. That's fairly protected. And where's the missing guard? We should see it highlighted now. Um. Guard, guard. I can see guards on the map. I can't see any barbarians left on the map. Wait, maybe underground? Oh, I see it. In our colony. In our colony? Yeah. It's a chief, he's at uh, our second barracks. Oh, so he actually bypassed probably through that corner. Yeah, or somewhere else. Nice. So let's finish this university, which is at 99% quickly. So to make that a glorious, glorious finish of our stream. So the builder is still like, nah, I want to sleep. Now nah, you don't want to sleep. You want to work. Okay. Now he's working. Nah, he has. He doesn't have to work home and uh, walk home. He can do that. He's just. He was like, "Oh, that was a nice nap during the day," and then he was like, mm, "I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer before, ouch, finishing my build because that was a lot of work." But yes, Bunny B is, is a lazy build. Yeah. He's a good builder, but he's also kind of lazy. We all know that. Oh, nice. Jennifer finished a level four citizen hut. Ah, that was a repair job, I think. No, it was an upgrade. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, level three to four doesn't only adds a few decorative blocks, I remember. Yeah, it wasn't much. Okay, Barnaby, are we going to see the nice fire work soon? Let's go on to... That's kind of risky walking through here. We can see the firewall. I think here is a perfect spot to see the firework. <laughs> and I'm going to have to add the concrete worker before making the Star Wars style 
Let's play then. <laughs> okay, he's at the last blocks placing. He is walking back and forth to the different positions. Come Barnaby, you can do this. You can finish this. Mm -hmm. He's like at 99.9%. The tension is barely, barely possible to, to bear. People shooting random arrows and that was close. But the new 116 target blocks are going to be nice as well for our archery range. You just shot yourself. Yeah. Again. Oh. Really, Barnaby? You really want this tension so badly? You make it even another night? Just, <laughs> just to let us die of the pain tension. Come, Barnaby. You can do this. I think he was just pretending. Yay! To... Oh, we did. Yay. <laughs> night firework. Firework in the night. Perfect. <laughs> just waiting for that. So I would say that was a glorious finish. You were able to see that the fireworks are f fixed and very colorful and look amazing. And I'd say you see us in another episode, most likely tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.